What's up guys, this is Heiss, and today we're gonna do a Railroader reaction video. I saw this clip like a couple months ago, and it is just awesome. Uh, it, is, it is one where you need to turn up your sound system until the knob falls off and just shake the house with how freaking awesome the audio is. But uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. But first, I want to say thank you to SteamTrainVideos.com for letting me use this clip for this video as well. So this video that we're going to watch is of the Reading and Northern 2102 out of Pennsylvania with the Reading, Blue Mountain, and Northern Railroad. And they just got, they totally rebuilt the 2102 and they went all the way through it and they are running this thing like they stole it. I mean, they're running it like, like they re used to run steam. These days, most outfits don't have the luxury of working steam to the absolute bone. Plenty have to and plenty do, but it's not too common to see a big 484 Northern do it. So let's get into the video, shall we? And volume up, everybody. Reading six chimes. Just awesome. I'm glad to see that even front end throttles are still a pain sometimes to get going. All right, couple rotations in, cut the cylinder cocks off, and we've got places to be. Give it the sand, all right. And uh, can we get this lever on the ceiling yet? A little bit faster, okay, give it some, oh, okay, not yet. <laughs> Okay, I have to pause it right there because I've, I've watched this clip a couple times and I've never noticed this detail. I'm, I'm going to back it up a little bit. Notice A, that he's got the power reverse all the way forward. So they're all the way in the corner giving it everything it can get. And you can see, as we've talked about on my channel a couple times with our little narrow gauge engines, how they waddle left and right with the shorter main rods. This 484 connects on the second axle too, and you can see that top of the cab window bouncing up and down as the engine's doing this. Let's check it out. Out of a 484! Oh my god, that's so cool. I had no idea you could see that. Thinks about touching the reverse, brings the reverse just out of the corner a little bit. And it's just time to put the throttle on the ceiling. All right, throttle's on the ceiling. He moves the bar just like the cutest little bit out of the corner. <laughs> and it's just, the noise through here is just awesome. You know you're doing it right when your grade crossing whistle with a Redding 6 chime is being drowned out by the sound of the exhaust at the stack. Holy crap! This thing is, I mean, I don't know how many cars they have behind this thing, but to have a Northern working that bloody hard, A, I mean, it's just like, it's gotta be a spiritual experience, but B, the, just the noise, man! Just the noise! <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> okay, so we come up to this clip, and you can see that the, the power reverse has come up just a little bit further. Uh, Throttle's still pretty much on the ceiling, so I guess he's uh, he's probably running with the bar at this point, which is where, you know, you've got your throttle basically just set wherever, you know, usually wide open, and then you're modulating speed and power with the, with the Johnson bar, in this case, power reverse. That's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> And, and the fireman's just checking to make sure it still looks like the surface of the sun in there. Oh, that's cool. All right, hang on. So it's hard to say I haven't fired a Stoker engine before. But you can see the fireman is down in there, and he's got the scoop moving through the door. And I'm not sure if he's trying to redirect coal off of the actual table plate, or if he's trying to see the fire, which is something that we do on the little coal burners. When they're working pretty hard, it's really hard to see what's going on. So you can use the scoop and kind of guide the airflow from the fire door with the scoop, and you can watch the flames kind of get kicked by that new draft, right? And it can help you see where the different valleys and, you know, little pits in the fire might be. So when you've got a wide firebox like one on this engine, uh, it can really help you kind of see what the fire is. So I'm not sure if, if he's messing about with coal coming off the table plate or if he's just trying to read the fire, which Lord knows, I mean, when you're working one of these things this hard, yeah, I mean, it's just white. <laughs> There are a few things on the planet that are better than the sound of a big steam engine working that hard going that fast. That's just awesome. Okay, now we know why it was working so gosh darn hard. That's a lot of cars! And those are, I mean, those are all like 85-footer, you know, big standard gauge cars, some of them heavyweights. Uh, yeah. No, they're putting that thing through its paces. That's what I love about this clip. It's just, this is what the railroad did. This is what steam sounded like back in the day when you had to haul tonnage and you had to do the thing and you had to do it at 40 mile an hour or whatever. That is what it looked and sounded like, you know, it, it's not so many of the preserved steam engines that we have to kind of baby a little bit because we only have so much budget and so much time to, to do the repairs. I mean, these guys are working the crap out of this engine. They're making it do, you know, they're working it for its living and they're going to have to maintain that thing more often and more significantly than folks who run their steam engine less hard, you know, and that's a lot of the reason why a lot of preservationists don't tend to run the engine super hard is because we don't necessarily have the budget or the time to do it. So to see a big locomotive like that sounding like that in this clip, I mean, it's just 
awesome. I mean, that that is just, that's what Steam's about. So props to the crew in this clip. I mean, it sounds great. It looks great. Um, and props to the, you know, the guys that rebuilt the 2102. What a beautiful locomotive, beautiful restoration and rebuild uh, and making it run like it used to do. But man, what a cool clip. I hope you guys enjoyed my little look and two cents on this one. Uh, let me know if you thought this was cool down in the comments below and maybe we'll do some more of these if you think it's cool. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch y'all next time. Oh, and one more thank you again to steamtrainvideos.com for letting me use this clip. This is just awesome.